Yo, what up, my young kings? It's your boy over here, back here with another video. So actually in this video, you guys saw the title. I'm gonna be talking about how to get a girl to come straight to your crib. And it's actually interesting, right? If you're a guy and you're in the dating market right now, right? Because of what's going on in the world, most of the times you're gonna be doing online dating, right? Or even when you're texting a girl after co approach, you're gonna have to text her for a little bit, okay? And I'm gonna show you how to actually go from Tinder, Bumble, Hinge, Instagram, maybe even cold approach texting, just a step-by-step -step format on how to get a girl to actually come to your crib. And I'm gonna actually show you real text examples because you guys are gonna see the actual proof and text messages, how to get a girl to come straight over, which you guys can implement today, okay? And this video comes directly from the recipe, which is my online program. I'm teaching guys how, the ingredients to a woman's heart, okay? How to get a girl how to get that perfect 10, how to get that dream girl for you, okay? So this comes directly from the recipe. But let me not do too much talking. You guys are gonna see in the actual content, okay? But do me a favor, if you guys like this kind of content, bro, just hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. It helps the channel grow. And I know you guys like this kind of content. I keep on posting more content like this. And also, make sure to hit that subscribe button because like, hey, I give men dating advice, social media advice, how to be an overall attractive male, how to get more women to your life, and just how to be a confident male in general, because I want struggling with this, so I'm trying to help you guys out. So just hit the subscribe button, because it helps the channel grow, and I know you guys get notified and don't miss a video, okay? So let me stop rapping, let me jump right into this video. <laughs> Not every single one of your girls you're going to meet in person and approaching. So here's the Tinder series, the online game series, Instagram, Tinder, Hinge, even text messages. Okay. So the goal is to get any girls, you need to always have your funnel. So online dating profiles, you're going to ideally start talking to them. Then you're going to start texting them and you're going to get them to come on a date with you. Even when it's the same thing with approaching, you're talking to them, you get her number, you text her and you get the approach. So this is just the texting part of the whole game. You need to be able to text girls and get them on dates if you want to be successful with women or get that beautiful girl. Here's what we're going to talk about. In this actual section, you're going to see hinge conversations, Tinder conversation, Instagram conversation of how to get the girl on a date, how to get her to come back to your spot, okay? How to communicate her with her. So in this interaction right here, you're actually going to see me having a conversation with a girl on Tinder. In this Tinder conversation, you can see what to say when she has high interest, how to keep the conversation going, how to build a connection with her to text. So it's a lengthy, it's a lengthy text demonstration and everything, but it's an actual conversation that happened and she actually came over to my spot. Okay? So now let's jump into this. Okay. So a large part about online profiles is having good high quality photos. Okay. So when you have good, high-quality photos, the girls are naturally going to choose you, okay? So, that's like how you are approach, approaching girls. You want to have a good outfit and make yourself as presentable as possible because you're going to get the most amount of girls. You're going to have your options open. It's like your job, okay? When you go to a job interview, you want to look your best so you already have that first impression. This is the same thing with girls. You might not be qualified with the job. You might not have the best resume, but if you go looking and bring social vibes, you can get that job, okay? So it's the same thing with attracting a woman or getting her to be a girlfriend or getting her to be a friend with you, okay? So the first thing that happened in this interaction, she had a weird profile. You're going to find this on Tinder, okay? She wasn't showing her face. So automatically, if you see this, ask her why is she hiding something. So, But I didn't want to message her, so she messaged me first. Hey, if a girl messaged you first on Tinder, that means she has a good amount of interest, okay? So she said, hey. I said, hey, back. I asked her why she hiding her face. I wanted to know. So then she told me basically like she doesn't want everyone knowing that she has a Tinder profile. What's she hiding? Who knows? Okay. So keep on when you get in this situation, keep on playing along because she's hiding something. She doesn't want people to know. But that's understandable. Okay. Then you got to figure out what the reasoning is. Okay. And then basically she told me she's going to send me the rest of her face. Okay. So I, I told her to send me the rest of the face. And so this is how I got her number, okay? I gave her my number because I, I want to see how high of interest she's going to go. Is she going to keep on texting me? Once I got off this app, 
I started texting her, but I also wanted to get her IG in too, also to build social proof. Okay, so when you're in college, you can bring social proof by being in a social circle. If you're in work, social proof by getting a high ranking position. Okay, in nightclubs, build social circle by having become a part of the knowing the people at the club or being with girls. Okay, when it comes to Tinder. An online game, your social proof is going to be your Instagram, okay? So I asked her for Instagram. It turned out she didn't have an Instagram. So cool, okay? You guys see in the conversation right now. So now let's jump over to the text portion. Okay. So now she showed me a picture of herself. She actually looks pretty cute, actually. So I, t I tell her this. And then I basically tell her my name is Olu, okay? She asked what my name is. I told her Olu. She asked how to pronounce him. And then I pronounce my name, I have a hard name, okay? But that's not, that's beside the point. So I usually try to ask girls where they're from to see if I can build up a connection that way, just to build comfort, to learn about them some more, okay? If you got her from Tinder to text message, you already won half of the battle, okay? So now, and when you ask the girl where she's from, you want to try and relate to every single place, okay? If you don't know, get out more, travel more. So she says she's from Brooklyn, New York, okay? So I say Brooklyn is lit, okay? And then she asked me, like, yo, you're only in Reading for the weekend? And yes, I told him I'm only in Reading. So this was a Tinder. And when I go to visit other places, I put in my profile that, yo, I'm only here for the weekend. So I'm so people don't expect too much from me, okay? So if you're only visiting, you should put this in your profile. Okay. So she knows I'm only here for a short amount of time. So she wants to get the logistics as well. So I asked her to hang out, okay? So I asked this girl to hang out ASAP because, like, yo, you want to get straight to the point. You don't want to be texting her forever. Once you start texting her a lot, she kind of loses interest from you, okay? So set up the logistics right away. You can see in this conversation that basically I'm not going to be there for too long. I told her, like, yo, I'm only going to be here basically tomorrow. I'm going to Philly tomorrow with my friends. I might be free at night. She's telling me I'm trying to see what she's doing tonight herself. But she said she's going to sleep and she has to wake up at 7 a.m. for work. Okay? That's understandable. So sometimes you can joke about it too. Like I was telling her, like, yo, wow, you're working hard. You're working mad hours. Okay. This is just to keep the conversation going. Okay. And then now she's basically like, yo, we can figure everything out tomorrow because you, I'm going to Philly. She's going somewhere else. She's going to work. Okay. We'll figure out tomorrow. So the next day she asked me, hey, can we FaceTime? Okay. So when you're on Tinder, FaceTiming a girl, calling a girl, you're basically putting yourself in front of every single guy. Why? Because guys don't want to FaceTime. Guys don't want to get on the phone. Guys just want to text and text and text, okay? So when you actually talk on the phone, that's what most girls like. So you can get on the FaceTime, try and get on FaceTime. But you can see in this interaction too, I'm doing most, uh, she's doing most of the work, okay? She's the one hashing on high interest. So when she does this, just go by her rules. Follow through. Just chill. Let her pursue you, okay? Because you're alpha male, dominant guy, okay? And she wants me to send her more pictures, okay? This is going to happen. Why? Because when girls meet up with you in person, they met you on Tinder, they don't really know who you are. And girls have way more to lose than guys, okay? Girls are the, girls are the ones that go up missing from guys, okay? So, like, yo, it's fine. Like, send her more pictures. But make sure you have high-quality pictures. So now, you see, I'm just sending her pictures that are on my Tinder. I sent her, like, three different pictures, okay? One of the pictures I sent her was me and my native word to see if she's going to ask questions. And then one I sent her, me and soccer jersey. So she's, like, Hispanic, Latino. So I went to see if she's going to bite on a soccer jersey or bite off my traditional word. And she bit off my traditional word, asking where I'm from, okay? So this is why I tell her that I'm Nigerian, okay? We're just having basic conversation. She tells me she's going to give me an address when we FaceTime. So now she's asked me if I have my car here so she can so I can pick her up. Okay, if not, I would have had to Uber her or something. That just means she doesn't drive. Okay, you're gonna find it when you have a car, you're you get way more girls because you can drive, you're mobile. Okay, that's one of the necessities you need as a man. Okay, and she wants to know where my friend lives because in case I bring her over, so I'm getting all the logistics right. So, logistics a large factor in getting girls, and then she tells me she's gonna send me her address. Wants to FaceTime. She still wants to see if I'm a real person. And I'm asking, like, how long is she going to be up? She's getting the whole logistics right, okay? And she's asking me, what's my middle name? This shows high interest. Maybe she's stalking me. I don't know. So I tell her my middle name, okay? And so, like, we just keep on conversation going. And then she starts sending me pictures of her videos. So she's looking good in her pictures, okay? So when girls start sending you videos and pictures randomly, yo, this means she has high interest. She's really confident in herself, okay? So I just tell her she looks like a snack. That's a funny way without saying, saying you're cute, saying you look good, okay? Just say you look like a whole snack, okay? And then I want to comment on her hips, okay? Because she put up a bikini picture saying, yo, she had 
thick she had thick hips like yo she looked good she put booties fat or something like that and then she told me she's spanish okay whenever a girl tells me she speaks spanish like yo i always joke around with them saying like yo you need help me learn spanish okay because spanish you have to like talk to them you have to have communication with them. You can't just learn books, okay? So it's a way you can you can build connection with Spanish girls. And you see, she has really high interest, so she's talking, talking, talking. So I usually text the girl the, throughout the whole day because I generally like texting girls, okay? You guys, if you guys like texting girls, you should text her out throughout the whole day also. But this is the Brent Matt Flakes, right? If you don't text her that much, like she has more of a reason to flick on you because she doesn't really know you. When you text her, she gets to know you more, but make sure you still set up the date at the same time. And then I'm just having a casual conversation, how long she's been living in PA, all that stuff. She still sent me pictures, and she sent me a long paragraph, which I'm not going to read, but you guys can read through it right here, okay? She wants to know the logistics, like, what? Um, what's my friend's living condition? Does he have roommates? Does she want to bring a friend? Okay. So if a girl asks you, like, yo, does she actually she come by herself, bring a friend, always say, like, yo, you can bring a friend. My friend my friend is going to be there if you want him to, just to make her feel comfortable, okay? You don't want to you don't be put in a bad situation. She can always bring a friend. It's actually easier for her to get her to come to her spot if she brings a friend, okay? But she tells me, like, yo, she doesn't want to bring a friend. It's cool. She's cool by herself, okay? So she said, I say it can just be me and you then, okay? And then um, she asked me what I'm going to wear. She wants to know if she should get cute. Like, if a girl asks you that, what you're going to wear, just just say you want to wear sweats or something like that. Keep it cool, jeans, nothing crazy because you don't want to have to have her dress up. And then I, I asked her, do you drink? She says occasionally, okay? So that means she's not really a drinker, but I say we can drink something, okay? So I told her I have some Jack Daniels so we can take a couple shots, okay? And then um, she asked me, do I smoke? So I don't really smoke like that. And then when a girl says she don't drink, you can joke around and say, yo, one or two shots, you're going to be lit, all right? And then basically now we're getting logistics, just asking, like, did she shower yet? When should I come pick her up? All this stuff. And all these messages are going to be put down so you guys can read it and copy copy some of these messages, okay? Okay? And I just tell her, let me know when you're ready so I come pick her up, okay? Then I tell her I'll be there by two minutes. And then later she told me she left her earrings, so I had to go get her go give it to her in the morning but this is actually like how you get a girl from tinder the text messages and then get her to come back to your spot okay